Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam ya se alo ko holoyim la ya wa ba shim ya wa shai. Ba ha shim. Ka ha ku dash to ba apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. That by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the akim and akwa. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh ba shim ya wa shai. To the best of their ability. Shachna and the waf just coming at you with another quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um... I just seen this article, man, and was just like, you know, it's not surprising. This is um, this guy that played the Passion of the Christ, right? Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Jim Kevizel. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Anyway, it don't matter. He says he compares Donald Trump to the biblical King David, selected by God. Well, he was selected by Yahweh. Don't get me wrong. We do believe that. We know that he was selected by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, but he's for sure not no goddamn King David. <laughs> you can forget about that. Donald Trump, it, it, you know, is a damn Edomite, and he, and and I'm going with Apostle Tahar on this one, man. When he says that this, he could be the modern day Nero back. You see what I'm saying? But this, the guy right here, you know, yeah, just silly as hell. It says he's comparing Donald Trump to the biblical King David, and that he has been selected by God to do incredible things. Yeah, he has been selected to do incredible things. Yeah, he has. To bring that division, <laughs> that's 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 in the earth. You know what I'm saying? That that's in, in, in the Americas. Because when he first when he came in, you know, that hey, that that was you know division was pretty much it. It was there. Don't get me wrong. With Obama, when Obama came in, there was some division. But when Trump came in, ooh, hey, that set it in stone. Matter of fact, let's get a quick scripture. I'm gonna come back to this. Let's get that in Matthew gotta love it man yeah he was yeah he was chosen i mean hey everybody gonna play their part here everybody's gonna play their part but he's for damn sure not no king david you can cut that out buddy and you're not jesus neither you know or the, who the world ignorantly calls jesus because we you know we, we we call the lord by his original name yahweh shai the name that was given to him you know by the angel gabriel which means that he's the savior or deliverer in paleo hebrew and we don't believe in your white jesus we don't believe in your white blonde haired blue eyed white jesus man we understand and know for a fact that that is a goddamn idol and you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans man you israelites y'all better stop believing in that crap man because it's idolatry and two-thirds of jake that's going to be destroyed and i pray that i'm not a part of that i'm praying you how about shimmy i wish i have mercy on me but two-thirds of jake uh uh, uh probably uh, uh, about 98 percent of them gonna be gonna be um damn jesus believers when the lord comes man when the Lord sends destruction upon his place on their ass, man. Matthew 12 and 25. Let's get this um, division real quick. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? That's a good question right there. What's the answer? It can't stand. The Lord just told you it can't stand. You see what I'm saying? Because half this country believe that Trump is still their president. The other half of this country, uh, you know, I, I think they're having second, second thoughts about voting for Biden. But, you know, the other half, they still running with that Democratic shit. You know, they don't care who's better. They don't care who's who's good at the job. You know, they're, they're just, you know, claiming their gang set. Basically, I'm with the blue and I'm with the red. That's pretty much what's going on. But let's get some more of this story, you know. Because this guy, he's a he's an okay actor. You know, he done played in some pretty decent, um, um, some pretty decent parts in some movies and stuff like that. It says, speaking to the war room, which you already know, that war room shit, that's all. This guy right here still believes Trump is president. He's one of those guys. He's probably in a damn militia somewhere. It says, um, speaking in the war room on Wednesday, the actor who is best known for playing Jesus Christ and passion of, in the Passion of Christ is currently promoting his new his film Sound of Freedom. Spoke candidly about he thinks the former president of the United States is pretty great. You see that? See? Matter of fact, let's let, let, let's let's see that picture of him playing um uh uh Cesar Borges, man. Let's see. Because that's what he's really known for. He's done um, quite a bit of work, but 
Um, as a matter of fact, let's see if we can see. Cause you, hey, you know, and this is not a color thing either. This guy, he could very well be an Israelite. He could be an Israelite, but then again, you know, eh, you know, uh, hey, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Israelites could look like this. I'll put it that way, though. He's giving off Edomite vibes. You know, there's no no color thing when it comes to this Hebrew Israelite truth, man. It's all a DNA thing. It's all heritage. It's all has to do with um, progenitor or your race and who you come from. If you come from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, you can look like. Donald Trump, I don't give a shit. You can be an Israelite. If you, you, you are an Israelite if you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's like you. Correction there. If you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, your ass is an Edomite and you're going directly into slavery when the Lord comes. There's no such thing in the scriptures where the Lord loves everybody and he's coming back to save everybody. If you are not an Israelite, you are going to be on the shit list of the Lord. And it's that simple. But anyway, let's see here. Oh, that's right. He was in that SEAL team. You know, he done, like I said, he done played a few different um, OK, decent movies. But let's let's get the images. And I'm willing to bet you they're going to show you one of them pictures of, of, of white Jesus, him playing white Jesus. There you go right there. I want to get a better one. Let me see here. Oh, there go one right there. Cause that's pretty much what he's better known for. But like I said, this guy, he got some um some work in. Yeah, he played damn. He played in Paul too. Hey, like I said though, hey, I always said when you um look at all these movies, when you look, see, 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 this is what when people when people think of of, of the Lord, they they thinking of somebody that looked like this. They're not thinking of a dark, melanated man that would have been a Negro if he was walking the earth today. This is this is who our people think of when they see um, um, when they think of Jesus. But of course, the Lord's name is not Jesus. His name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. They got the name wrong and they got the way that he looks wrong. So if you're into white Jesus, you are most you are most definitely serving an idol and the Lord is going to destroy you for it. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Latinos, Dominicans, Mexicans, Cubans, whatever the so-called white man call, called you when he um, stole you, kidnapped you, raped you, robbed you, pillaged you. You are being called. You, you, you're, an, you're a Hebrew Israelite. That's your biblical nationality. You're not these names that they gave you when they colonized you. And like I said, again, when they colonized you, or I didn't say it, but what I'm saying, when they colonized you, they beat this image into you. They beat this man into you. So it, it, white Jesus is nothing but a form of white, um, white superiority or white supremacy. That's all that it is. Because they're not going to tell you the truth of the way that the Lord really looks. You see what I'm saying? But when you read into, you know, Revelation chapter one, verses 13 through 15, it tells you that, you know, he had feet like brass as if they burn in the furnace. Brass, first off, is a derivative of brown. If you burn brass, something brown, in a furnace, of course you're not going to get nobody that looks like this. And then they're not white people. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color. There's no such thing as white people. But this is what they've been pushing throughout the, you know, throughout the earth, man, that they are white people. Look, look at this guy. He's not white, but he'll consider he'll consider himself to be called a white man. See, like right here, his shirt is white, t-shirt is white. But look at him. He's no no nowhere near that color. You see that? Nowhere near that color. And I had this one little short in my video hookup. Matter of fact, uh, let me go to it. Because a guy, I came across a guy the other day. He seen me. He was like, man, I'm subscribed to your channel. He was like, <laughs> he said, I watched this the video. That I, I I think that he um ended up subscribing to the channel um on. Let me go into it. It's a lot here. This video right here with this little girl. Check this little girl out. It's a short. So this person is talking like an object and skin color is two different types of white. No, this little girl got more sense than this, this damn adult that she's arguing with. You see what I'm saying? But you can clearly see that she is not the color of her t-shirt. And she could be a little Eve though, you know what I'm saying? Because
<laughs> but anyway, and she's not actually peach. You know, some of them kind of, you know, get that, 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 uh, you know, that, uh, you, that old, you know, you see, you see what Donald Trump does is he, I don't know. They, I don't know what they, I guess he must be getting spray painted or something every morning. They got to be spray painting that guy. I don't think nobody really looks like that. I mean, you see some people, you know, the sun kind of does some um, Edomites a little bit differently. You know what I'm saying? Because they kind of go out there quite a bit and they try and tan and shit and it just don't do them good. But anyway, this guy right here is a complete goddamn fool. But let's read some more of what he said. Because this country is divided, man. That's the only thing that Trump, you know, and a few other things, don't get me wrong, but he was definitely set up to divide this country in a way that it has never been um, divided. America has never been divided like how it is right now. Okay, he says, um, Donald Trump, when you watch this movie, you will be at peace and at rest because, you're, because you more than anyone have done incredible things, said the actor who portrays Tim Ballard, the founder and former CEO of Operation Underground Railroad in the new film. Jesus talks about faith without works is dead. Donald Trump, people talk about how private he is about his faith well he's getting it done for our lord and savior who is your lord and Savior? see even this guy when he when he's thinking of a lord and savior he's thinking of white jesus he's thinking of cesar borgias man that's who he's thinking of matter of fact let's 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 put in cesar borgias real quick let's let's see cesar borgia see this is who they're thinking about this is who this is who he's thinking about when, when because why? Esau Edom got their hands on the scriptures that history is in the apocrypha. They whitewashed the images. They started to change everything up. And now, since they're in control of the media, especially the small hatters, the 1948ers, the ones with the Balfour Declaration, you know who I'm talking about. You know, one, you know, they own the media. So, of course, every movie that they show you, they're going to show you Moses looking like a so-called white man, looking like them. They're going to show you um, Paul, Peter. You know, to all the disciples, they're going to show you all the prophets. They're going to show you King David, Solomon, Esther, uh, Mary, uh, you name it. They're going to show you all these people as so-called white people. When they give you these movies. They have a, a complete outcry. Hey, look, every time, you know, Jake might get a play or something like that. You know, Jake might do a play and, 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 and you know, and, and do a, you know, all black cast as far as like, the you know, the Lord and disciples. And these fucking white people go crazy. They be irate about that shit. How dare you? How dare you make our Lord look like he's a nigger? When in reality, the scriptures don't describe him looking nothing like what y'all been showing everybody forever. Anyway, but this is this is who they really think of, man. This was an original man. He really walked the earth. And, 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 and when you get off into the history of this guy, he was wicked as hell. But they painted this picture. They whitewashed all the images during the Renaissance, the um, you know, and 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 you know, iconoclasm and all that era, man. They they just whitewashed everything. So now all the greats, anybody that's got something to do with righteousness or greatness, is all so-called white people now. When the history shows that who was ruling at the time was all so-called black people. So I mean, you know, you get it, man. I mean, you know, it's so much. You just got to go into it. It's so much proof to it. That you, you know, and it's not really hard to even pull up anymore. Okay, it says, when you go back to King David, check this, check this dude out. When you go back to King David, Trump was like that, he added. He was a boy that was called out. Many people didn't like him, including his own father, but he was selected by God. Now, I've never seen nothing in the scriptures where it says that King David's father never liked him. As, as, as you know, from what I can see. He, you know, he looked at him as a respectable young man that, that, that handled the flock. You know, he was likable. You had the one little, you know, little disagreement, so to speak, you know, with his brothers when he went down to, you know, his dad just told him to go down to the army. You know what I'm saying? You know, to see how his brothers was doing. Take this food with you. He, he, he obeyed his dad. He went down there and his brothers was kind of clowning him. You know what I'm saying? Before getting to the, the fact of the matter that, you know, his, you know. Our forefathers sent sent him and brought you. They had, hell, he had a cart of food. Uh, yeah, I know you. I forgot what the brother said exactly, you know. But, you know, he's kind of cutting into David. But anyway, that's the only thing that I kind of seen somebody really complain about him. Other than that, you know, I mean, David, you know, you know, other than the Beersheba and, 
the way that he done, um, you know, I think Uriah is his name, you know what I'm saying, as far as like putting him in the heat of that battle and getting him killed and, you know, basically taking his woman, you know, other than that, man, David was was spoken of, you know, as being a righteous man that was after the Lord's um, um, heart. So if Trump is not no damn King David. Get out of here, man. It says um, because when, when when our King David ran things, he had the whole nation of Israel together, man. The whole nation of Israel was together under King David. The split came with Solomon. King, uh, King David was well beloved. Trump is not no well beloved guy. You know what I'm saying? You just got dumbass Jake, dumbass Negroes running around out here. Now they down with Trump because he went to jail. See, that's all Jake think about is some stupid ass gangster shit. You know, that, that applies to their, one of their favorite gangster movies or some shit. One of their favorite rap songs. Look at Trump. You know, he, you know he's like one of us. He's one of us now. He got a mug. Look at his mug shot. He's stupid, man. Hell out of here, man. Anyway, it says, when you when you go back to King David, Trump was like that, he added. He was a boy that was called out. Many people didn't like him, including his own father, but he was a, he was selected by God. I think Donald Trump was selected by God Almighty. Oh, of course he was. The Lord is in control of all things, even the wicked. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that real quick. The Lord is in control of all things, man. Nobody is in a position without the Lord, man. No one, I don't give a shit if you're a Burger King manager. You cannot get that position unless the Lord wanted you to be there. It's that simple, man. Well, let's get this. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 16, chapter 16 and verse 4. It says, the Lord has made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So he created um, Donald Trump, wicked ass, to, 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 to do exactly what he's doing right now. You see what I'm saying? So you talking about people that don't know the scriptures, man. And they just they just be quoting shit. We don't need your quotes. We don't need your personal quotes. We need the, the scriptures, man. And generally, even if you brought the scriptures out, it, it wouldn't be correct anyway, because you don't have a spirit, man. You can clearly see this guy don't know what the hell he's talking about. And the comments, they're going going crazy on this guy. Let me see. It says he listened to the voice. And probably didn't think he's the best. Or maybe he thought he was the best guy. Because in my opinion, he's pretty great. Oh yeah, your opinion. Your fucking opinion don't matter, man. It says a guy like him would be able to sit there and watch this and feel safe and peace. He concluded. I think that a lot of people that watch this that are following God feel that way. What God? What your white God? Your, your idolatrous white Jesus? Get the hell out of here, man. It says in July, he compared Trump to the new Moses. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now he's the new. What, what is he about to lead the so-called white people out of um, Egypt? He's not about to get away from this fire that's coming to America. He's not getting out of it. And if he and if he make it to a bunker, his ass going straight in the chains, right along with his son, Baron, right along with Donald Jr., right along with Melania ass, right along with Ivanka. You know, all of them going, 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 going directly in the chains, man, if they make this fire that's coming. Come on, man. He comparing this guy to Moses. Get the hell out of here, man. Boy, I tell you. Uh, where do we leave off at? Let me see here. I'm trying to see. Well, let me see. Where did I leave off here at? He said, yeah, he compared him to Moses, but joked he's still Jesus during a Fox and Friends appearance. Sound of freedom follows. Okay, we don't need to get into that. He says, this is the new Moses. I mean, I'm still Jesus, but he's the new Moses. Pharaoh let my children go free. Man, get the hell. Who do you think the children of the Lord really are? The, people, the ones that's in captivity. Who's in captivity? It's not you so-called white people. The ones that's in captivity is the ones that you have in your countries under lock and key. It's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those are the children of Israel. And you know what? The Lord is going to drag y'all asses right over there to the, to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And, and he's going to plead for his people there. And guess what? You're going to be destroyed. All you nations that have had your hand in, 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 in toppling the, the children of Israel, man. 
This guy comparing this clown to Moses. That let you know, man, how how wicked these people are, man. And how they, you know, they just have absolutely no no regard, man, for the scriptures, man, or the Lord. As a matter of fact, let's go into Let's see what some of these comments say. This person says, what an idiot. Trump is not led by God. Oh, yes, he is. He's led by God. Oh, yes, he is. He's led by the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. He, he's just um, led on the left hand side. It says he has no religious beliefs and, and routinely breaks all Ten Commandments. No way God is supporting Trump. I think it's the other God, the one who fights against God. Now, the Lord definitely is, 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 is pushing Trump to do exactly what he's supposed to do. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Donald Trump isn't Jesus Christ. He's not even Jesus Rodriguez. Damn. <laughs> this person says King David also broke commandments, but he knew how to repent and he went through a lot because of his sins and in the and, and in the end god used him as he wrote psalms in the holy bible donald trump is facing political persecution like no one else ever has uh, this person says nothing that trump has, done has shown any implications of him even reading the bible let alone knowing christ you don't make fun of handicapped people and grab women private areas and so angry at another race, etc. Where do you see God's love in anything he does? Sorry, but no. Uh, anyway. Says this whole story is full of shit. Cavazel is an imbecile. I think the religious movies went to his head. He needs some psychiatric help. <laughs> Oh uh, man, this person says God works in mysterious ways. You don't know what God's done does in our lives. Just like one of one of the verses says, it's better to keep your mouth shut. Uh, yeah, sure. But like I said again, hey man, yeah, he was selected by the Lord to do exactly what he's doing, and mainly, you know, it is it, to se separate this country, and which he has done perfectly, and it's so separated to the point of it's almost at the brink of civil war. You know, which is, hey, that's his part in this thing, man. These class wars, these race wars and all this different stuff. Wars, rumors of wars, you know. So the best thing that you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans can do is repent and step away. Step away, man. I, I've been saying that all week long, man, for the past two weeks or so. Going on a month almost, step away from Esau and just let his ass get demolished. Let him be destroyed by himself. You don't want no smoke with the Lord when he comes to Esau. You don't want to be around this man. You, you, you want to be as far away from Esau as you possibly can be. And when I say that, I'm going into basically, you know, um, spiritually, you know, mentally de detaching yourself away from Esau Edom's kingdom, man. Because this place is going to be destroyed. And if you're just, a, I'm, a, I'm an American I love this place. This is my country. And you trying to fight with this man for this man, for this country that what that's going to what that's saying is you're going to fight against the Lord. And you coming up against the Lord, you know, that's a no win. That's a no win right there. You, you're not winning, buddy. But I'm going to end out here. Yahweh Rajasah. Micah 2 and 10. Yahweh Rajasah. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. America is not our rest. England is not your arrest. Italy, Germany, wherever you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you Israelites have been scattered to, these places are not our rest. We are waiting on our Lord to come to give us that rest, man, to take us into our own land. You see? That's what we're waiting on. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. You know? America is not our rest, man. And I'm just speaking on America because this is where I'm at. But all these other countries where Jake is scattered to, these places that this earth is right now, this is not your rest. This place has destroyed us as a, as a people. But see, when the coming destruction of this physical destruction comes, that second death, you don't want no parts with Esau. You want to get the fuck away from this man. Because he's going to get the missiles to the face. And if you're involved with him, you're going to get those missiles to the face too. See, we're praying to you how about Shemiah was shot that we're part of the hopeful elect and that we're beamed up into those chariots and that we can watch the destruction go down from up, up in the skies. You don't want to be here in the midst of it because it's not going to be a pretty thing. Here you go. You got Jake joining this man's fucking army. 
his military, man. Why, why the fuck would you join this man's military? Let his people go into the military. Let them little, little pink white boys, you know, they, well, I say so-called white boys. Let them little pink guys go into their own military and put on them fatigues and let their asses get slaughtered. Because you know what they're going to do with you? If you go, they're going to put your ass on the front line first and save their own people. Yes, there, 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 there's a such thing as division and ranks for, for, for certain in your military. They're going to put you Negroes, you Hispanics, you Native Americans on front line first. Get your goddamn legs blown off, your arms or your head blown off. Why in the meanwhile, if they have to put it, they don't want to put their men in first. It's never been that way. They might put a few of those trailer trash park, trailer park ones on, on the front line with you. But come on, you think that, come on, man. You think any of these politicians, any of these congressmen, any of these you know, these mayors, governors, senators and all these different people that, that are running um, cities in, in, in America or want their children to go to the American army. You out your goddamn mind. They're not patriotic like that. They're not raising their sons, you know, to go into no military. Then they're talking about the draft because they can't get nobody to go and sign up. The reason why they haven't really, you know, they're, they're still trying to work out the draft as far as like women. But you women, y'all so big and goddamn bad. Y'all want equal rights. Why aren't you fighting against the government and saying, hey, it's not right that y'all won't allow that y'all won't draft us because they don't draft women. Isn't that discrimination? You should be suing the American government for discrimination for not allowing you women to be drafted. You know. And just think about it. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American women with your goddamn, especially you so-called black women with them big ass eyelashes on your green wig. You know what I'm saying? With them long ass fingernails, you should you should be upset that you don't have equal rights with the so-called white man to um, be drafted into his military. Can you imagine them sending you a draft letter in the mail and saying Sh Shaniqua? <laughs> We're going to need you to come to this particular location right here by such and such, such and such. Can you imagine that? You, you've compassed the man. You're above the man in this country. You should be able to go to the, you should be able to be drafted into the military and you should be upset that they're not drafting you. Why? Because it's discrimination. You, 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 you calling on discrimination with everything else. You want equal pay. You see what I'm saying? I say you go ahead. I say y'all go, y'all go and get y'all a lawsuit in. You know what I'm saying? Get you a lawsuit in, a class action lawsuit and say government, American government, you cannot disqualify us or you can't you need to be drafting us too it's not fair that you only draft men see how that work out see how many of these women go out see as a matter of fact you these 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 um these um britney griners they're not they're not they're not trying to join the military you don't even see none of them trying to join this military i don't see well, why not wouldn't that prove i mean you know you're trying to prove so hard that you can do what men can do you're trying to prove so hard that you're equal that you can go out and do whatever the man does. Why don't y'all go ahead and um and listen to that army and see how the Lord get down on y'all asses when 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 the time comes? I can't wait, man. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on this. This guy's a complete goddamn fool, you know. I, I, I <laughs> the passion of Jesus Christ that went to his head, you know. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. We understand this type of stuff. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. They, they, they need a hero. This is, hey, Trump is their great white hope, man. But he's done nothing but divide this country. That's what he was really used for. And he's going to be used for a couple of other things. Pretty much, I think, that, you know, me speaking as a man is to get that civil war popping. You know, but if he becomes president again, though, which he could, because if anybody vote for this guy um, Biden again, you Negroes go out here and vote for Biden again, you some fools. And if he actually wins, uh, hey, come on, man, I, 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 I'm going to have to ro roll with Trump on, um, on um, 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 the election was stolen. <laughs> for, for real, though, we know that these these presidents are being selected and, and you know, not elected. We, we understand that. You know what I'm saying? But Biden, man, this guy can barely form a whole sentence without tripping over himself. He half the time don't know where the hell he's at. He's a Mitch McConnell as president, man. Frozen, stuck in zone. He, 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 he you know, this guy, it, it, come on, man. Hell no, this guy shouldn't be, you do no, no, damn well this guy shouldn't be president. 
He doesn't have the mental capacity, man. He's not there. So if he wins again, come on, bro. These so-called white folk gonna go fucking crazy. The ones that believe Trump's still their president, they gonna go nuts, man. They get, they gonna get down. And you, Jake, y'all better watch y'all asses, man. While y'all out here trying to be Americans, you better put a damn shirt on saying, hey, I'm not American, I just live here. You better start telling these white folk, hey, I'm not American, I just live here. I don't have nothing to do with that, man. You go ahead. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not against you on that. You go right on ahead, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> with that, I pray that the lesson was edified. Quam your shoulder.